Alright, so in today's Subnautica video, we're going to be comparing the Numi Jet mod seen on the left to the Eureka Jet mod, which is seen on the right. Now, a little bit of context that's a little bit important to both of these submarines is the fact that the Numi Jet mod was supposedly built for like military use and whatnot, and the Eureka is more of like a private jet built for leisure use. So just keep that in mind as we compare these two. And without further ado, let's get to it. So the first main difference we're gonna be looking at is going to be the size and the shape of these submarines. So we can see that the Eureka over there is a lot thicker than the Numi jet. The Numi jet's a lot slimmer and thin in nature. If we look at both of these submarines, it's a little hard to tell which one is longer because the Eureka actually has like a big old fat tail that's sort of like hanging off the back of it, which makes it look like it's a little bit longer than the Numi but the Numi's nose is a little longer than the Eureka's. But I think the Eureka overall is a longer jet because of the tail. So we're just going to say that the Eureka is, you know, for all intents and purposes, we're going to say the Eureka is longer than the Numi, which again makes sense within the context of both of these submarines because the Numi is like a, you know, like a fighter jet almost. So it makes sense that it'd be a little bit smaller. So it's a lot more agile in nature. Another little difference we'll see in the shape of these submarines is the nose, like I just pointed out before. The nose of the Numi submarine is actually, you know, like really pointy as we can see right here. And then if we look at the Eureka's nose, it's a lot more rounded. So the Numi has a lot sharper and pointier nose than the Eureka submarine. As far as the wings go of these submarines, I believe the Eureka has a bigger wingspan than the Numi submarine because this side by side right here. So the Numi has wider wings than the Eureka, but the Eureka has overall a longer and bigger wingspan. Wait, is it wingspan? Is that the right, is that the right, um, right? Is that the right terminology? I, I don't know. <laughs> now moving around to the back of these submarines, if we look at the engines, the placement of the engines is a little bit similar, but it's also a bit different. So on the Eureka submarine over here, let me just head over here so y'all can see it a little bit better. The engines on the Eureka submarine are a little bit suspended, like in the air a little bit. So they're kind of like sitting near the top of the submarine, not near like the bottom or integrated with the submarine. And if we look at the engines on the Numi submarine, they're actually a little more integrated within the submarine. They're not like suspended over something or anything like that. They're not like sitting on top of the submarine. Now, if we look a little bit closer and we start looking at the overall exterior detailing of both of these submarines, we'll see some, you know, nice detailing on the both these submarines so we can see on the eureka there's all these different like markings you got these little black lines you got some symbols over here you know all types of even if it's a little bit lower resolution it's still you know nice details overall because i'd rather take some details than no details you know what i'm saying and the eureka also has some lights on the side there's two lights on each of the wings of the submarine giving the eureka private jet four lights overall two on each of its wings so nice exterior details there and then if we look at the detailing on the engines we can see that there's a little fan on the inside we have this like little caution tape right here engines also have some exterior detailing on the outside and then if we head over to the rear of the engine we can also see it's glowing blue back here which is you know super nice neat looking detail oh my gosh that was really blue really neat looking detail back here makes the submarine makes the rear of the submarine look a lot more lively and just you know really awesome overall and i would also like to point out that if you go inside of this in ghost mode like i'm in right now there is nothing on the inside there's no like little uh turbine or anything like spinning in here so just keep that in mind whenever we compare that to the numi's engines so if we head over to the numi jet you know there's not that same level of detailing like with all like the different lines and stuff that the eureka had but the different level of detailing comes with the like camouflage that's on this entire jet because again it's a military jet so you would imagine it's got some sort of camouflage or unique paint scheme on it which this one does have and it looks super super awesome it's got this like white black and what is that like dark blue is color on the outside of these engines we can also see some detailing here we got this little like brown we got like a light brown right here almost like a cream color then we got brown and then i don't know what color this is and then we have blue right here and then there's the entire engine right here now the outside of these engines it immediately the first thing i thought of was the su-35 or just really like russian jets in general because russian jets whenever you look at the engines on those jets you can sort of see like this little like mechanical part sticking out on the back and then you have this part right here so that's the sort of vibes i'm getting from this like the way this engine looks i just wanted to point that out just because if that was intentional then that's a neat detail that the mod creator threw in here we can see on the back we have like a little fan right here and this part sort of like looks like it's, it's a little bit hard to see but it looks a little rusted almost we got a fan right here and then if we head over to the front of the submarine if we head over to the front of the submarine we can also see the engines and how they connect all throughout the submarine so you see this like giant looking tube right here it goes all the way to the very back of the submarine so that you can see the way the engines connect 
from the front all the way to the rear of the submarine, which is really, really awesome detail. So if we head through the front, we can actually see this fan that I was talking about right here. So we got the fan right here. And if we go through this, we can actually see like there's a, like a little interior part of this entire submarine, which is the main difference from the interior of the Eureka engine. Because when you go on the inside of the Eureka's engine, there's like just a whole bunch of nothing in this in here. And I can appreciate that in the Numi jet, there's actually something in here. So really, really nice interior details on this submarine in particular. Really Really nice engine details on both of these submarines in particular but i feel like the new me has a little bit more we can also see the cockpits of both of these submarines are both vastly different as far as the glass go and the overall shape so if we look at the Numi's cockpit right here, we can see like it's like a big old glass canopy that sits right over it as a, you know, as the typical fighter jets usually have. And then if we look at the Eureka's cockpit, it's more like it's got like a roof up here. It's not like just a full on glass canopy. There's like a little roof up here. They got some glass and then some windows on the left and right hand side. And if we look at the interiors of both of these cockpits, let's just ghost our way inside now if we look at the interior for both of these cockpits we'll see that in the Numi submarine it's very detailed in here you know we have all these like different readings gauges and whatnot that'll show us all different types of information while we're flying the submarine around we also have the i don't know what this is called but i know i'm pretty sure it shows your altitude like relative to the sea level i think i think and then if we head over to the eureka submarine you can head over here look on the inside it's a lot less detailed but the cockpit is a lot bigger overall so if we look behind this big old seat right here we can actually see that there's a door right here nice little nice little interior detailing as well got a little door right here and it looks like it's tall enough for us to like stand in so that's cool and then we have our you know like little steering wheel right here there aren't those same like super detailed gauges and stuff on the inside of the submarine but that's okay all that we have in this submarine is just like this little chair and this steering wheel right here so overall the interior of the Numi submarine is a little bit more detailed than that of the Rika submarine I think because the Numi has a lot of those like super complicated looking gauges and whatnot all right now let's compare the different depth of both of these submarines so if we hop into the Numi jet and we see the depth the base depth for this submarine is 30 meters as we can see right now the mark 1 depth module increases the depth from 30 to 50 mark 2 increases it to 100 meters and then the mark 3 increases it to 150 so since these are both like jet mods they're obviously not going to have like really really deep depths that they can go down to so the base depth of the eureka is way lower than the Numi. so we're looking at 10 for the base depth of the eureka submarine so that's you know pretty <laughs> pretty 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 low pretty low so we put the mark 1 depth module in increases it to 30 meters which is the base depth for the numi submarine we put the mark 2 depth module in increases it to 80 meters and then we put the mark 3 in increases it to 180 meters so the eureka private jet actually has a lower base depth than the numi submarine but its max base depth is 180 which is actually higher than the numi's max base depth i keep saying max base depth just max depth that's all it is all right so the numi submarine moves around oh yeah it moves pretty fast pretty fast in the water we're gonna see how it moves over and so as we can see right now the Numi submarine has a pretty fast speed underwater and it accelerated you know really slowly as well so there's something to note there but yeah look at that look at that number look how fast that number is going down you're moving pretty pretty fast in this Numi private jet I said private jet what <laughs> the Numi military jet mod so that's nice now there is another feature that the Numi mod has that the Eureka does not that I would like to point out and that is the ability to hover as we can see right now I am just hovering above the water if you just slow down and you hold space and kind of just chill up here, you will actually hover above the water and the Numi will just be in like a sort of hover mode that it'll just stay in unless you like point the submarine down and go back in the water or whatever. So that is something to note that the Numi has that's different than the Eureka. It has two flight modes, like a regular flight mode and it also has the ability to hover. Another thing I would like y'all to note as a difference as far as both of these two submarines handlings go with the Numi submarine I can go up and down in the water so you can see if I hold space I'm going up and I'm ascending in the water and if I hold C I'll actually go down in the water. Really really small thing to note but it is a difference whenever we look at these two. So I'm going to show you right now so if we head over to the Eureka submarine right here and I'm holding C I'm holding C right now and it is not letting me go down so you can't actually go straight down and descend in the Eureka submarine so that is a big old difference between that and the Numi the only way to descend in the Eureka submarine is you have to point the whole submarine like facing downwards and you have to just fly downwards like that yeah and as you go forward you'll like steadily go up in the Eureka submarine so do keep that in mind 
and this thing does move pretty fast in the water just like the Numi did so they have sort of similar speeds in the water so that's nice and they both accelerated kind of slowly and let's head about the water and see what we're talking about both of these submarines seem to move at dang near the same speeds if the chain if there is like a small change within the speeds of these submarines it's very very minimal because i can i can barely notice it if there is a change i mean like the eureka may be like slightly slower and i mean like really really slightly slower than the numi only because it's a little bit bigger but overall they feel like they move virtually the at the exact same speeds and their handling is pretty similar as well they can all pretty they both turn really well as we can see right now i'm just like i'm just hitting these dang sharp right turns so yeah overall both of these submarines handle really well and they both handle you know pretty similarly for the exception of the eureka as the eureka does not have a hover mode where the numi jet does have a hover mo other mode what am i just saying it does have a hover mode and it can descend in the water without having to face all the way down Ooh, don't crash my game don't crash my game slow it down slow it down yeah so yeah overall these two submarines have some pretty distinct differences aside from just you know like a first glance you can see that they look different and they have different names and whatnot but aside from that they have differences as far as like performance goes with the newbie being able to go up and down and also being able to hover where the eureka cannot there's some detailing differences as far as the engines go interior goes you know all sorts of things and i did not mention that the numi jet does not have like any visible lights on the outside whereas the eureka submarine actually does but yeah other than that that is about all i have for y'all thank y'all for watching i hope y'all enjoyed and i will see y'all in the next one peace